At the end of the last video, I showed you quickly how to draw the heart, and we're going to, uh, in this video, do it, but more slowly and in more detail so that you uh, can follow along. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to the uh, oval tool, and um, once again, a reminder, the little black um, triangle in the corner indicates that there are more tools available uh, behind whatever is visible. So we're going to go to the ellipse tool. And <clears throat> also, I'm going to bring up the rulers, the rulers. And the rulers let me bring over guides. So um, this is Command-R, Show Rulers. And now we have these rulers on the sides of our page. And when we um, have rulers, we can put our cursor in the ruler area, anywhere where the numbers are, and we can click and drag and bring down guides, which are just, uh, as, as they say, something to help keep us on track and that we can use to help align things. They're, um, uh, they are by um, default um, locked, so uh, to remove them or move them, we have to go back up under View, under View, and we can go down to Guides, and you see they're locked. So we can unlock them, and then uh, with the black arrow, we can select them and delete them, or we could simply click on it and move it once they have been unlocked. So um, that's a, a tool that we use quite a bit. <clears throat> as well as under view, um, we can show the grid, show the grid. And this is very useful. Gives us sort of a graph paper looking um, thing that we can also use to help us align things and, and uh, get things uh, tuned up the way we want. So. Um, at any route, um, we are going to first create an oval, and here it is. Okay, I'll go to fill, and I'll give that a nice, hopefully bright uh, red, um, and I'll go ahead uh, and put a stroke on it as well, just so that we can see it nice and clearly. And so there's my oval. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to this tool that we haven't talked about, but it's a, um, a tool called the Convert Direction Tool. The Convert Direction Tool is behind the pen. And it is uh, good for two very important but simple things. It's the only things it does. And the first is to turn um, by clicking on an anchor point if, like here, we have a curve and we click with this tool, it will create an angle, as you can see there, and that becomes the bottom of the heart. If it's already an angle, I click and drag, there you see the handlebars pop back, <clears throat> and it's now a curve. So this tool, one of its two functions is to make angles into curves, and curves into angles. So we'll make the point or angle at the bottom of our heart. Then I want to move to the top of the, um, the shape and with the white arrow, the white arrow, we want to bring up the handlebars. The handlebars are what we have on our curves. Okay, And by clicking one time, just one time with that same Convert Direction Tool, I went back to it, click and drag one time on the tip of a handlebar. Both of these handlebars will now be independent permanently. So, makes angles into curves and curves into angles. That's one of its functions. And the second function is to make handlebar pairs independent. Um, because, as we know, if we did not make them independent and we click one, it changes both parts of our shape. 
And so uh, to do something like the heart, we of course need to um, have them independent so we can make a hump on either side of that, okay? So I click on one handlebar, click and drag and pull it, and now I go back to the white arrow and everything else will be done from there. I'll highlight this anchor point so I can see the other handlebar. I'll pull it out. And um, notice that when you want things to be equal and symmetrical, in the case of uh, uh, if curves are involved, um, notice that I very purposely, the hand, I would expect the handlebars um, on both sides to be the same length, to be the same angle, okay? And that uh, alone will help guarantee that the shape is symmetrical. So then the only thing left to do is to come to the side and grab the tip of that handlebar and rotate it out. <coughs> rotate it out. And of course, there is my heart. Now, of course, we could tune it up and we could play with it a little bit, but it um, is essentially um, done, and that's how we did it. We did it with the white arrow. In this case, we started with the shape uh, tool, and then a couple of times to get the little um, uh, angle at the bottom and to separate our handlebars, we used the convert direction tool, which is behind the pen. And that's really all you need and you just need to remember to switch back and forth um, between the different tools. And when you get a little bit further and more advanced, there are shortcuts that will flip you back and forth between these different tools instead of having to constantly go back to the toolbox or the tools here and click and manually do it. There are some faster tips. But this is the basics of um, all shapes um, and uh, from here on out, this is the basic building blocks.